Dude, that's going to be awesome. And you do a lot of their interior work, like the CNC yeah, design. Yeah, so, and... uh, that's been super fun. Vice Customs. So this is just like the kind of basic layout um, of the interior of the camper. Yeah. So like I said, galley up front here, um, set of drawers in between. We got our big 130 liter fridge. We got the sink. Um, and then, you know, dinette in the back here. We've got the full kind of like bench bed here. And then you can plop that down for another bench over here. Um, so yeah, so that's that's kind of what the interior is gonna look like. Um, that is trick looking. I'm super excited to show you this thing. Let's uh, go inside and stuff, open things. Big old garage here for all the mountain bikes and stuff. Let's head on inside and let's check it out, everybody. Um, yeah, let's uh, take a look inside. Let's head on in. So we mounted the uh, the Red Vision inside and uh, the the uh, control panel here. And um, so I think you talked about you're going to do like a little kind of. Yep. Yeah, I can go kind of through. So galley right here, um, fridge over here. We're just we're just doing an induction stove that's going to go in a drawer. Um, nice big sink over here above the battery and then this is going to be kind of like our, our utility cabinet basically I'll build about a you know four inch deep cabinet kind of almost like a medicine cabinet um, where you open it up you can get to all the fuses real quick something blows you know we can, we can find it right away um, and then just expose you know the controller here so we can turn everything on and off yeah and that that thing hooks to your phone and it'll yeah. tell you if a fuse is blown mm -hmm. and you can turn the lights on and off with your phone and like oh my gosh it's fancy yeah it's well, it's super nice for cool when you're driving you can monitor you can make sure you know your your fridge is on you can you can just monitor everything you can be sitting around campfire yeah and you know want to get the heater going or something you'd have it off you can turn the heater on from here um it just gives you a, a, a wide range of just control okay i'm sold i'll take one red arc manager 30 for the mavicon please and then managing everything that's pretty Pretty slick. Yeah. And a 360 amp hour battery, that's, that's, that's pretty that small yeah, for that. It's, very, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I mean, the, the, even even in a bigger camper like this, this I mean, space is always premium, right? Yeah, so, oh yeah. You know, the, anything we can do to kind of cut down on some of those utility sizes, I mean, it makes makes a big deal. Coda wants to come in. Come on, Coda. <laughs> right <on> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It's dog friendly. We've got two of our own, so there will definitely be doggos in here. Yeah, so what are your plans for them? Like, are they going to sleep up in the bed with you or down here? No, I'm excited that they can't get up here, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, was, no, yeah. like I said, there's, there's going to be a big bench over here that they can sleep on, the split dinette in the back. Um, so so kind of like an L dinette? Kind of like an L shape, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the full bench there, and then it'll split back here. Um, probably do like a Libyan table mount in the middle. You can drop it down for um, the plant. The idea was. I want to be able to sleep for four adults. Right? Yeah. So we've got um, six and a half feet ish, right, in in between in the back. So mm -hmm. easy there. And then this is over eighty inches, I think, mm -hmm. that direction. So easily sleep, you know, for hunting camp or something, right? I mean, mm -hmm. a couple buddies can be in here, no problem. Nobody's got to snuggle. Yeah. And this gives me a great idea of what my camper is going to be like because 80, mine's I believe 85 to the back here. That's all. If I just delete the cab over, that's kind of what mine's going to be like. And I'm like, we're all three in here. Like, okay, yeah. this will yeah. be with an open floor plan. Yeah. I think mine's going to be enough room. And like I said, with the north south sleeping, like now that we're inside, you can see one person could come down here or down there and not mess with the other I mean, so that's really cool i think it's over 90 inches length yeah like that's awesome um, so my the other plan in here is to do some thin cabinetry around the bed so we can store clothes you can have you know your phones up there all that kind of fun stuff so the we got a you could fit a king size up here with no cabinets um, mm -hmm. but we're going to do a queen and get a little bit of space on each side this is maple so it's a uv coated pre-finished and the nice thing about that is, again, it comes pre-finished, so it's, it's, it's got this good matte finish mm -hmm. and UV coated. Not as big of a deal inside the camper, but you know, it's you know, it's it's just a good quality that's going to hold up. It should be easy to clean with the dogs and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Like we've like um, you know, Drew's got a fabric option too, which which is awesome. Like it, it makes it feel nice and cozy. But like with with our 
two dogs and all that, you know, mud and that kind of thing. I'm, I'm excited to have something we can just kind of wipe down. And... Yeah, I like this because, like, white walls are nice to make it feel bigger, but they're, like, white and they're so medical. Yeah. And this is super homey. Yeah. I like this a lot. We might and have to do this white, in mind, Drew. With the white ceiling. Don't, yeah. get, don't give him any ideas. <laughs> He's getting white. I don't know. I like this. Um, but yeah, so then you got the white <laughs> ceiling, so it reflects light. And we got the turnover one roof hatch up there, which is a uh, nice option. Laying in bed, looking up. Also, you could stand up in the cab over and, and stick your head out. Good for, you know, photography or, um, you know, you could even you could set the tripod up on the roof. And if you're doing some, like, you know, long exposure night shots or something, you know, because half of the fun of overlanding is, you know, <laughs> pictures while you're out. So, um, and it has a, it has a screen this light. It's the same as these. It yeah. has the, uh, the screen that, uh, comes up Bucks and then screen. it's got the blackout as well. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get so, a little bit of airflow at night, usually I'll just kind of keep that cranked just a little bit there and you can get the air to come through, um, without all the light. Mm -hmm. So, it's nice they have they have that feature on there. So there's not a fan on it, but um, there's the lights, the LED lights, and those are actually pretty bright up there. We got the yeah. fan here, so mm -hmm. it'd be nice for you know circulating through there. We didn't really want a fan blowing straight on our faces, so yeah. um, it'd be super cool to like lay in bed. And, like, yeah, and if you summers, had yeah. the fan pulling in and that cracked a little mm -hmm. bit, it's gonna be whipping air to you, yeah. yep. or you know any of these open. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. So. Hopefully the next we see of this will be uh, the interior all built out. I guess we'll it's, uh, <laughs> it's to do, so. I mean, it may, it may even be the rally at that point um, by the time we get uh, interior all done and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe sneak out for a fly fishing trip in between here and there. We'll see. Nice. Rocky Mountain Overland Rally, is that the one? It's No, it's uh, Overland West. Expo Mountain West, yeah. That's the one. So in August, right? It's the end of August uh, in um, Loveland. Yeah, love ones. Anyways, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Super stoked to show everyone my favorite bison camper so far and, and your new home on yeah, wheels. Yeah, we're super excited. You guys comment below, and really, the only question is, are you down to mob a bison overland camper? Woo!